Good evening, Chris. How are you doing? I am not entirely sure what we're doing today, apart from uh, throwing boxes and uh, surfing on them. <laughs> doing clap. Nice, very nice. Uh, did it go through? Well, I hope it did. Try again. It did. Good. Uh, so I'm looking through my verticals live streaming. Ah, ceiling collision is something we need to do as well. And then we might even try and create a uh, puzzle. So, uh, let's actually get started. Let me just see that I have everything set up. I think I do. Yes, I do. Uh, yes, okay. It's, uh, I wasn't able to switch to the unit scene. Maybe I didn't change the, uh, I thought I changed it in Streamlabs, a Streamlabs, in the Stream Deck. Let's uh, actually check. Uh, there. Now, right now we have the unit scene, but we're not going to the correct unit scene. There we go. Cool. Cool, cool. Uh, so let's start with updating our... Um, Ticker thingy. Last time we made some uh, movable platforms and got them to work pretty well, I would say. Uh, we can lift boxes, we can stand on them, we can stand on them when they fall. It worked with pressure plates and uh, we got the elevators to work as well with, uh, with switches. Straight from uh, LDTK. Let's remove all of that. Let's actually make it a little bit bigger. Uh, surfing on the drone box. And uh, ceiling collision. I think that should be enough for, uh, for the evening. Yes, okay. Oh. I think I usually go with font size 18 during the stream. But let's actually see where we are uh, in the game. With, um, we got the box, we can stand on it, we can jump, we can drop it, we can stand on it. It also gets the speed, but when you stand on it, you can also move like you can on a movable platform. So that means that you get ridiculous speed. Uh, that's not what I want to do. It's like this. Oh, I also need the uh, to handle collision for the boxes. Let me add that. Um, Add uh, stop me momentum on collision boxes. It's cool. Okay, so we can surf on it now, but what I want to do is to have it uh, so when you surf, you are kind of stuck on it and you can't move. And I think that's going to be pretty easy. Let's go to playlist object component. Um, if we have an object, when we try lift object, here we actually lift it. Let's add a lift method. And let's send in the uh, liftable object that we got. Oh. 
when we lift, I want to grab the position info and I want... No, that is not correct at all. I am not even uh, remotely close to what I'm going to do. Got me a... Uh... Oh, but I can't get it to open. The... Uh... There we go. I couldn't get my uh, my finger underneath the um, what is it called? The the cap thingy. All right. We want to do this in entity movable platform component. We need to know what type it is. We do a few compare tags. We do a compare tag here, so liftable object would work, and we would treat that differently a little bit. As in, we would not set the velocity on this. So quickly, let's try and do this. this. I'm going to copy this and test if I can get it to work with this and then I will uh, clean it up. If it's not a liftable object, then what we're going to do and I think we need to go back into Unity and set our prefab to be a liftable object. Does it stay? Yeah, it should stay a liftable object all the time. And uh, so that's the only time we grab the velocity. But then I want to do it like this. Because if we are in here, I want to grab the position info and I want to freeze um, this does ID and uh, XY. With this, I hope I can um, force the player to not move. I probably want the velocity if I do. Uh, yeah. We can remove this else because we want the velocity. But when we jump, we want to reset the velocity. So let's uh, just try this and see if we get stuck on, on the box. Not more, good. And I'm not unfreezing us. <laughs> that's a uh, thing. Should be in here. And I'm going to move all of this into a uh, method. Uh, uh, left. Um, the platform. It's all good, uh, kinda. Nice. Thing is, you can't get off the, uh, <laughs> you can't get off it. <clears throat> Until it's on the ground. <laughs> That's kinda cute. You can't get off it until you're on the ground, uh, because I think 
freezing... Oh, maybe I should just freeze the X. Yes. Just freezing the X. Uh, I think freezing the Y also freezes the jump. Yeah, now we can jump. But we still get a speed boost when jumping off it. It's not as big as before. I think this actually works. Yeah, it's not a ridiculous speed as the as it was before. So now we can do this, and then you. Okay, never mind. What if? What if? Um. Now here's the tricky part. Do I I wanted to have it so if you hold the button, you keep the speed. What up, Captain Coder? Thank you for all the claps. How are you doing? How was your class? We can surf on boxes. Look at this. We can jump, we can throw, and we can uh, surf on. I think that's a pretty cool mechanic. I was thinking though that should we... I think we should limit the uh, horizontal speed. Hmm. It's nice to meeting you here. Happy Tuesday. Welcome, welcome. But currently it's mainly um, a design question how I should do with my movement here. Because I can still get the super boost. I think that keeping the speed of the object I'm throwing, if it's lower or not lower if it's uh, higher than my max movement speed that is going to be my speed but this is my speed times two can we get up here How would I limit the movement speed? I think we can grab the velocity we have. And we can move it into the moving platform info. Do we need to be a property? Um, yeah, I think I'm going to move it in there. Moving platform info dot velocity. Because then my horizontal entity horizontal moment is we're always going to have an entity moving platform component on an entity then we should always be able to get it in here what did I call it moving platform info 
We'll get the data. What's that? Uh -uh. For here, we will. Our max speed would be this, the movement speed. If and the moving in movement info x times movement speed, that would be our current speed. If our current speed, no, uh, moving platform info velocity. Well, let's do it like this. Let's take our speed would be moving platform info velocity minus uh, current speed. And then this be opposite. What I'm thinking is if the speed is higher than um, zero the moving platform velocity is higher than the current speed so then the current speed would be zero if speed is higher than zero then they are equal to zero oh, thanks then uh Current speed of the x is zero. Else, current speed x would be uh, equal to minus equals uh, moving platform in for velocity of the of the x. If this is higher than zero, that means that the platform is faster. Or we're getting the info, uh, the info, the uh, the speed from the uh, moving platform, uh, which is faster than the speed, and then we shouldn't do anything. If it's uh, not equal or higher, then the current speed would be current speed minus the velocity of the moving platform. I think that's right. So let's see if we. If this works. Still get a bit of a speed boost. But why is that? We're actually setting the <laughs> well, to move up here. I don't think I can get a speed boost with this, but we'll see. We need to multiply this by entity movement input x. I think. Would that make sense?
it's not making sense to me. Uh, and that we need to... Uh, we just uh, put a breakpoint in here. have to do a pick for each direction. Um. Too many breakpoints. Okay, so now speed would be 15. Um, I go here now. We have like the zero. Yeah, we don't add anything to it. I'm wondering why we get the insane speed boost when we jump off it. Uh, think this through. We get on the moving platform. We set the uh, velocity for the distance. Move this frame. We have a few ways of resetting the uh, the velocity. But here is my we oh we're setting the what's the X here. Hmm. What's going to be when we jump up? Then we release the um the freeze on X. has to be in my horizontal movement and we can get the velocity here. So let's do it um, I'm 
Thank you. But let's do it like uh, just check moving moving platform into velocity. And x is higher or equal to current speed times. Oh. Abs. Um, speed dot x. Then we just set current speed to. Uh, oops. X is zero. But that is not going to hit. If X plus the uh, current speed times now, this just is if we have way higher speed from the um, from getting off the box compared to. So, if I go full speed, this should probably even out and be nothing, or I get much speed. Okay, let's do it like this. Um, map abs. Moving platform in for velocity x plus from uh, map map abs current speed of x is higher than uh current speed current speed movement speed what I want. Then current speed is zero. This would not give me the max horizontal movement speed though, but it would be a start. Now we have a lower speed. Which is totally fine, that's kind of what I wanted to have. Now what I need to do is, I need to, instead of setting to zero, I need to take the um, uh, total speed, would be this, the uh, map app stuff. Tired and movement speed. Now we do um, what up, Goose? How are you doing? Hello, it's Almgren. Welcome, welcome. I hope you're having a wonderful day. How are you doing today? Glad to see you here and thank you for the uh, Prime sub uh, yesterday. Was it two days ago? I can't remember. Thank you very much. Uh, so our total We're not setting the current speed. Should be... Total move speed minus <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to do math and it's uh, it's really hard. I'm not good at this. Professional game developer right here, yeah.
But if total move speed is higher than max move speed, then we remove uh, platform info Yui. Thank you, thank you for the for the follow. Yui, is that the uh, correct pronunciation? Welcome, welcome. Thank you for the uh, for the follow. I hope you'll have a, you're having a wonderful day. So then we remove the platform info. Let's say velocity. Um, and once we then we remove the velocity from current speed. If it's above zero, then we set it to that. If it's below zero, set it to zero. Then we could. I probably want to work with uh, absolute value, so it's going to make my it a lot easier to uh, to think about this in my head. At form velocity. And then I might be able to make something smart off of this, but I don't know. Uh, horizontal movement speed. Horizontal. So then we would, as I wrote here, uh, remove the velocity from. We can probably do math uh, lamp. The current speed dot x zero and um, would this work though? No, I can't clamp it. Current speed would then be platform velocity minus horizontal speed. Why can't I? Oh, current speed. Because if I clamp it with the max being higher than zero, I don't think that would work right. Could do uh, we could do it in here. Next uh, is method lamp current speed x zero max movement speed. Perfect. So if I've been smirt. Then this could uh, work. Except that I need to also do this times uh, and times the the, the entity movement input info of x because these are absolute values and. Um, And we need to multiply it by the direction. I think that's uh, how we should do it. Good. Except that I can't move to the left because I am smart. I can't clamp the speed here. That doesn't work. What up, Dram? Good evening. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome. I'm going to do this uh, even uglier. Uh, if current speed of x is less than zero, uh, current speed x is zero. 
and then we do print speed. Right, what I thought. Ugly code. But we <laughs> will make it work. It's not really uh, very performant heavy. So I don't really care in this case if it's a uh, good code or not. of uh, lag when I jump as well. Well, we're slightly faster. Is that a... Now we're slower. <laughs> but why? Like... Now we're... I don't know how this works. Flying on it or jumping? What is the goal? The goal is to... Um, well, you can throw the box. Oh, now it just has velocity from the start goal. Do I not even have to? No, it has the velocity. Uh, the goal is to be able to ride the box you're throwing. And if the box has lower speed than your uh, normal horizontal movement speed, then when you jump off, you should go up to your normal uh, movement speed. But if you have if the box or a movable platform has a higher speed let's open up ldtk so i can move things around and show you a little bit let's move the spawn point down here and uh, let's move the liftable box there Did I refresh it? I don't think I did. No. So with the movable platform here, I can show you how it should work. Uh, that doesn't work anymore. Uh, that's a bit uh, is moving through. Okay. So we have this moving movement. So from the mobile platform, oh now I've messed this up, but well, let's comment this out for now. If you are on a moving platform, uh, I want you to To um, keep the speed, so if it's a really fast-moving platform, I want to keep the speed. So when you jump, you should keep all the speed. So you could do really long jumps, but it doesn't have to be that fast. Just uh, the movement speed is, let's say, 14. Then it's still 50% uh, uh, faster than you are. You would jump way longer than if you just did a normal jump. So that's what I want to have.
but the problem is with boxes. <laughs> this, when you jump off a movable platform, if you move on it, um, it makes sense that you get the speed from your movement and from the moving platform. But if we have the same behavior on... Did I not move the liftable box down? I did. That's up there still. Oh, probably because I... Okay. If we have this uh, behavior on a box you throw, you will uh, get double the speed. If the box takes the speed you have uh, when you throw it. If I throw it straight, it keeps your speed. If you stand on it, you get a way higher speed than you should have. And I don't think that's a, <laughs> a good thing to have in a game. When you just get like three times the speed. What I could set is probably a max horizontal speed. In my head, it should be very simple to do this, but it's not. Might be the um, eight hours of work before this. But in my head, it... If the uh, total movement speed, as in the platform speed, plus the horizontal speed, is higher than my uh, my movement speed. Then I just remove the uh, the platform velocity from my horizontal velocity, and that should give me the difference between. Um, wait, that's not what I should do. I should remove my. Movement speed. I think. Because movement speed is my max speed. Could it be if this is 11 and this is uh 10 it will always be 10 and if we have platform yeah that makes sense no i also do not understand the um Why it's uh, behaving so weirdly. Really, we only need to check this all the time.
with platform velocity is larger than zero. Let's move on. velocity uh, with the x and then we should multiply the x as well and not all of it and the yeah so we set the speed for x multiplied by the direction and it should be minus one if we are moving to the left so if this is four minus ten will be at minus six and that is the problem uh, okay We need to multiply that by the A. Because uh, holding a right would give you a left. Yeah. Maybe. Math. Got him. My mouse fell, uh, kind of slid off my mouse pad, and it moved perfectly to this uh, breakpoint up here. That was kind of interesting. Current speed at x is larger than zero. Okay, let's see. If this is five and movement speed is ten, then it's going to be minus five, and this will be five. Minus five times, so it will be five. So if this is lower, zero. We do nothing. My head, I uh, can't think right now. Five minus ten. <laughs> minus five. Good stuff. Uh, multiplied. And minus one is five. Okay. But that means um, that one is moving slower. Then we have so if if it's negative, then current speed of x is zero. understand how this could be so hard for me. We should be facing the... Um, oh, could it be... Not liftable object, but it's liftable object too. I'm wondering why I can move on the liftable object since I'm, as I am supposed to freeze the uh, x-axis. Oh. 
Let's actually move this one. That makes sense. Down to here. But I was only freezing the uh, <laughs> the normal movement, um, but not the platform uh, movement. So. I'm still not sure why I'm getting a boost. So let's do a bug log to current speed dot x. I'm also going to do when I throw the component, I'm gonna throw it with a little bit more speed. Because that speed should be above my max movement speed, so I shouldn't do anything. This... Oh, is it... Speed is 10, I know that. Uh, it was 9.96, I feel like. of that as in it should probably be like 0 0.04 that from velocity is really low is platform velo velocity after Looks like it's off the delta time. Moving platform. Oh, it's distance moved this French. And the implementation of this. Just so move this frame. Zero. Yeah, the, from the previous position and not the actual. what happens if we change this and do it up here with the but then we wouldn't get the collisions let me try another thing uh, 
Oh, I can't do. Or I wanted to do this uh, divided by thunder all the time, but that wouldn't work either. Because that's not how it works. I need to change my approach, I think. Did it. No. What up, Life Rabbit? Good good evening. How are you doing? I'm glad to see you here. Thank you very much for the follow. Greatly appreciate it. Hope you're having a wonderful evening. And I am trying to do a uh, map. And I am not good at I think, let's try this, uh, I think it's to type it all the time, just to see if I can get closer to, uh, the behavior I want. Okay. That is perfect, actually. It's kind of cool. No. 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 So, since I just want to get this to work, I am thinking that instead of doing slash delta time here, so when we set the moving platform velocity, We do here. Um, I also want to set the delta time for the velocity. This is a hack, <laughs> but it's what I'm going to do for now. Uh, delta time would be delta delta time because that will be used for. Um, you always have the same, the proper speed for the uh, velocity. And it being consistent. Okay. Rider. I think they broke Rider. Why? Like, um, that has never happened before. Thank you. Let me shut it down. My GPU is using a hundred percent, or my OBS is using a hundred percent of my GPU. I didn't. But how does that work? Okay, okay. Um, can someone tell me how this works? Mm. We're using almost a hundred percent there, but Firefox is also using like thirteen percent. makes a lot of sense now what is the time frame the time frame is <laughs> so much mining indeed no it's probably because I'm recording like two videos and streaming at the same time that OBS is acting like it's uh, using 
the task manager is not very good at uh oh and now I crashed unity as well <laughs> this is going well uh What up, Cage? <laughs> thank you, thank you for... No. Uh, you're coming in a perfect moment. Um, time. <laughs> it's Cage. Kage. <laughs> uh, no. I think... We just had an oopsie. Maybe. Yeah. Um... With a text, yeah, I usually. Oh, if we go here, I usually just uh, make it bigger. And this is a 4K monitor, so it's tiny. And I made the Unity <laughs> window. Uh, uh, actually, run it at 1080p on my Unity monitor. But I think we have uh, crashed. Um, the project. So I'm going to try and open it as a WebGL project. Wait. Oh, I don't think this is a Unity problem. Everything is lagging. I am going to. Um... Why is everything lagging? Things are crashing on my computer because we're you. I'm using all the GPU, I guess. Hmm. Uh, it's all going well. Now. Thank you, Kage, for, for the raid. I'm having some issues and um, let me turn off the source reco uh, record, source um, capture. We broke the stream. No. <laughs> let me see if turning off the source. Uh, works a source recording if I can find it we have it uh, let's remove that we're still using a hundred percent in OBS I'm not sure why the like I think this is the problem. So I'm going to restart OBS. And I will be back in like hopefully 20 seconds. And see if that's. If I. Okay, let's say it like this. I'm going to restart OBS and see if I can launch a unit again. If I can't, then I will reboot. <laughs> so it might be 20 seconds, it might be like 2 minutes. So uh, sorry about that, but I will uh, I will try. I'll be back very soon. <laughs> 